Hi, and welcome to this Unreal Engine tutorial where I'm going to be walking you through vertex painting. So to start things off, come up here to Quixel Bridge, open that up, I'm going to choose two materials to merge together. So go into surfaces, and then stone and castle. And I'm going to use castle cobblestones. So I'm going to add that to my project. I'm going to merge that with snow. So I'm going to choose one of these. That's where we downloaded. So add that in. Now that we've got those in the project, you can open up your mega scan surfaces folder and make a new material. Left click, make a new material. We're going to call this M underscore vertex paint. So then just go ahead and open that up. And now we're going to add some parameters. So hold S and click to make a parameter node. And we're going to call this UV tile A. Change the value of this to one. And then click on it, control D to duplicate. I'm going to call this UV tile B. Then we're going to get a texture coordinate node. And we're going to also duplicate that. And that's going to go into a multiply node. And then just add your UV tile node into the B of that. So then from here, I'm just going to move this to the side to give us some room. And we can now add in our textures. So open up your stone texture, select these and drag them in. And you're going to want to arrange that in a column. Like so. And then do the same with the snow texture. Just drag that in. And you want to kind of pair these up. So the snow textures go underneath their equivalent of the stone texture. And then from here, from the multiply of UV tile A, you're going to go into all the UVs of the stone textures. And then the same for B into all the UVs of the snow texture. There you go. Now we're going to get a height lerp node and just stick A and B into that from the corresponding textures. Do that all the way down. Just like that. From here, our diffuse textures, the result can go into base color. Don't worry about the error, we'll fix that in a minute. For these, we're going to want to get a split component node. And from there, the B goes into metallic. The G goes into roughness. And the R goes into ambient occlusion. And then for our normals, the result just goes into normal. Next, we're going to get a vertex color node. And then from the red, make sure it's the red. Pull that out. And plug that into transition phase and do that all the way up transition phase okay lastly we need to get our height texture which is going to tell unreal engine where to apply the snow on the material so i've made this for myself in photoshop it's just a mask of the cobblestones in red super simple you can do that in lots of different software. And I'm just going to add that in. As you won't have this at the moment, just use one of these textures instead and just plug that into the height texture. And there you go. It's now looking pretty good. So next, just go back to where you put the texture, left click, 
in the create material instance. We now need to make a surface to paint on. So I'm just going to go into shapes and add a plane. Just going to scale that up. And now I'm going to grab my material instance, plunk that on top. And then with the plane selected, make sure the plane is selected, go into selection mode, mesh paint, and then choose paint. And now while holding shift and left clicking, you can paint on your cobblestones. You can adjust the strength and the size of the brush. And you can see that when you click and don't hold shift, the snow is applied and the snow is first applied to those gaps in the cobblestones, making it more realistic. So yeah, play around with that. Um, lots of fun, uh, super simple. Um, and yeah, I hope you enjoyed. Bye.